Hello Mama and welcome to today's class. I have a very special guest today, little baby girl Ella. She almost turns four months and we are super excited today to uh, show you a little sequence you can do together with your little one. So all you need is a mat and the baby. Before you start, make sure you have all the props you need. So this might be a little um, extra cushion or a thicker blanket to give them more support because they are resting on the mat most of the time while you're going through to move through the sequence. Um, have a little uh, spit cloth just in case. <laughs> and um, yeah, rule number one, make sure they are happy before you start. So that means fresh diaper, um, nurse them before you start, but give them at least 15 to 20 minutes beforehand. So just to avoid eventual spit ups. And anytime during this practice, if they feel fussy, if they're not happy, either stop, make a break, or whatever feels good for both of you. Yeah? All right. You wanna listen to the break? Yeah. One thing, uh, again, to say, this is not a practice for you to sweat. Yeah? So this is definitely a practice for you guys to bond and connect while you keep moving. While you keep moving as a mama, okay? <laughs> so make it, make it fun. Make it totally fun. Hi. You wanna say hi to the camera? Hi. 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 Okay. Hi. 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 All right. So let's get started and see how this goes. So come into tabletop position. Have your hips a little wider and pull the, pull the elbows in. So we are going for some nice cat-cow to warm up our spine here. Exhale, draw the navel in. Inhale, lift up to the sky. This time we go um, for some forehead and belly kisses. So again, we pull the elbows in and we move all the way down to their little forehead. Give them nice little kisses. Pull the navel in while you do so. And then belly. So forehead, up, belly. <laughs> so they get kind of overwhelmed with some of your kisses here. You can move back in between if you need a little break here. Again, always give them the feeling you're there. Stroke the little belly, move the little knees and legs, whatever feels naturally and good. Inhale, come back to the same position. We go for two more. So, forehead, belly. This time we move back at the same time. So we inhale, the wave of three parts. You can kiss the little knees. Inhale all the way up. This is to the forehead, the belly and move back into child's pose. One last round, inhale up, and back into child's pose. Good. Find your way back into tabletop position here. We do a little butt workout <laughs> for mommy here. So we lift the right leg up to the sky, we point the toes, and we keep just little pushes towards the sky here. So bouncing the right leg up the sky, pushing to the floor here. So go, we go for a couple of more. So I count you through to 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Draw this knee into your chest, your forehead, whatever's possible. 
Good. Keep it holding. Keep pulling the navel in. And then release. We go straight away to the other side. Inhale. Lift the left leg up. Lift. Toes pointing up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Draw the knee into your chest. Good. And then slowly release. Find your way back into child's pose. While connecting with your baby. Yeah. And slowly and steady moving up. This time we are coming into Malasana squatting position here. So grounding your foot on the earth. If the whole foot is not accessible for you right now, just come all the way to the tiptoes. Or maybe all the way down. Well, keep gently rocking your baby. Tired. Yeah, if they don't sleep during the practice, they will definitely do it afterwards. Most of the time, it's really kind of exhausting for them too, like seeing you moving and like watching everything, what's happening around them, so. So exhausting, such a baby life. little massages here for them as well. This is an especially good movement if your baby has difficulty with pooing, if they're often constipated. You know, on some days if they have like belly pain going on or if they feel a little fussy, this can really calm them down. So, nice little strokes. I'd like to include it not just at the end of every yoga session, but also in between to keep them relaxed and comfortable. So they also know every time you bring them to the mat, they know the routine. They know, oh, that's the good stuff coming out. So they are kind of happy with you doing the practice with them. Yeah, that's good. Huh? So good. It's getting warm now. Mm -hmm. All right. So whenever you feel ready, Pick your baby up, pick your baby up, and you can gently start swinging them side by side. You can also use a little monkey grip here. And slowly coming up, oh, it's getting really light here. It's getting really light. And you can start swinging them from side to side. Well, you using that opportunity to come into a nice little side twist here. Right. The sun is good, huh? Not every baby likes to be in this position. This is actually pretty new to us as well. Like that she feels comfortable here. You always have to, if this is more like an eager baby and what wants to watch around, you can always bring them towards the front here. So we move a bit from the side, so there's not so much sun in your face. And you can use this to make little knee dips while you move. So it's a little bit of squatting here. Keep pausing a little more here. And then we stay here. So this can be nice while swinging the baby. And there's always a different grip, a different grip going on. A 
our babies, especially when they get a little older, they might be excited in this variation. Depends on the baby. So when you're already standing, um, use this time to come into a tree position. So bringing the left foot in, kind of bouncing your baby. <laughs> And then also uh, reminding yourself of really pulling that navel in. So you want to lift yourself up. Always think lengthening and doing those poses. So finding balance with some extra weight here is definitely more challenging. And then swap side. And then swap side. All right, so again, we're coming into a little squat and bringing the baby down. While cleaning them up, <laughs> so we're going uh, to place them on the top of our shin here. Hi, hi baby. Hi. And we're going to swing them from side to side while giving us a little and gentle Back rub here. Yeah. You can move towards them again, giving them little kisses. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Oops. Oops. We don't need to place it. Yeah. So using the time to really to really enjoy and bond. Yeah. So it's a nice and gentle workout for your core without recognizing it. Yeah, without recognizing. You can also place them between your legs here, dropping the knees in here, just resting for a moment, giving them a nice little massage here, or rubbing, rubbing their palms. And while they are resting on your legs, you can use this to come into little hip lifts here. So, you're just gently lifting up the hips from the floor. Always make sure your baby is safe. Never keep the hands off them here. And then slowly place them on your on your chest. Mm. Yeah. Hey. Hi. Yeah. Mm. Rocking yourself up. Rocking yourself up. And then lifting your toes up from the floor. So coming into nice little boat pose here. So you can maybe just lift the toes a little bit while squeezing your navel in. Yeah. Or you come into full boat pose with the hands as it's kind of safety next to the baby here. Yeah. That's better. You can keep holding on to your legs here. So it's a bit more supportive for you and the baby. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you're sitting in a boat. <laughs> oh. You're a sleepy huh? All right. I'm going to place them back on the mat here. So we mostly just go what, what feels good and um, yeah, how long it goes, it's, it's up to you, the day and the baby, of course. So there's no um, 
kind of rule on here. <laughs> you have to work out 20 minutes. It's 20 minutes, it's actually pretty long. So normally I used to do it between five to 15 minutes. <laughs> so again, enjoy what you have and yeah, make it comfortable. There is one more um, nice position for moms, especially to work on the belly, the side obliques, the, the side waistline. So we find our way back into tabletop. We uh, pull the navel in, we lift our knees up from the ground, and we push all the way back into downward facing dog. Good. So enjoying this stretch, this position, a couple of breaths. I'd like to count up to five, sometimes even ten. It feels so good to stretch out those calf muscles, widen those shoulders, and at the same time feeling the strength in my arms. Yeah. Then inhale, bring yourself again back into plank position while pulling the navel into the spine. This time we're going to open through the right side and we want to either stack the right leg on top of the left if this is possible or just support it one step ahead of the left. So this gives you a little bit more balance. Make sure your arm is aligned underneath your uh, shoulder and then coming into a nice side plank here. Yeah. Again, always keep gazing into the eyes of your baby, having nice eye contact. Yeah. Or maybe nice little tickles. And then changing side. So find your way back into plank first, and then change side. So we really pull the lower belly, the lower side, the waistline up to the sky. So you wanna really compress, Com everything is compact here. Yeah. Back to playing. One more forehead kiss and then lower yourself down back into child's pose. We found we find our way back to little one. Yeah. Giving some nice little massages. This is so comforting, not just for the baby, also for the mom. It feels immediately calms you down. Yeah, and you can see it. Yeah. 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 Good. Yeah. Yeah. Nice little pull. So there's not a really big pull. It's just gently holding their little legs, rocking them. Yeah, it's good. So this is, we like to end the, the session with even more massages. Yeah, and even more kisses. Nice little strokes on the arms as well. Full, full body stroke, all the way the arms, down the belly, over the legs. I'd like to also turn it around then to have a little bit of belly time, which um, is really nice at that time, um, around three to four months, where they start really like pulling their head up and getting a bit more feeling. <laughs> um, and more power in the back muscles. So we end this session with um, again some stretching. So we bring the baby between our legs here. You know, I like to just fold a little forward, bring myself into a nice forward fold while keeping her really close to me. I just allow my, my body to be in this position. There is no need to push forward 
or think about any alignment. So this should basically just feel good. It's, a, it's already a nice opening uh, happening in your hips here. Um, if you need it a little more, you can always um, choose a different variation of your legs. You can open your legs a little wider here or pull the, the foot a little closer to your body. Whatever feels good. Yeah, so there is no, there is no rule. We hope you enjoyed this little session with us and we are now going straight to a nap. <laughs> yeah.